Hey neighbor, welcome to your week six milestone. I'm so excited about week six because it's about one of the things I do professionally, which is resume writing and LinkedIn optimization. Oh, there is cover later. <laughs> okay, so your milestone this week is creating your resume, VA resume, to be very specific, cover later and LinkedIn profile. I have loads of videos on the channel about the subjects. You know, I was tempted to be like, they should just go and watch those videos for this week. <laughs> but I promise to be on this journey with you. So I'm going to do this with you. And it's going to be step by step as usual. But before we get started, let me show you something. Take a look at this 64.7% of you watching this video have decided not to subscribe to the channel. I don't know what to say. So if this video is helpful to you, kindly hit the subscribe button and make sure to turn on your notification bell. Now let's head back to the savannah. <laughs> we are back. This is how we're going to run this video. We're going to divide it into three sections. We're going to have the first one, resume writing, the second, cover letter, the third, LinkedIn makeover. This is one of the things I do for money. but. In this video, I'm going to be taking you step by step. I will even go beyond the instructions from ALS. I usually do that anyways in all of these milestones because this is what I do. So I'm not going to hold any information back from you because you're not paying me for it. Nope. All I need you to do is to give this video a like so it can reach a wider audience. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> okay, and make sure to turn on the notification bell or share this video in all your groups, community, to your friends and families. And if the Holy Ghost is leading you, you can always send me money. Money is good. <laughs> and join my channel membership. Okay, these are the ways you can tell me thank you. Okay, in addition to the comments, of course. <laughs> all right, so let's get into it. Let us start with resume writing. Okay, so here are the instructions. All right, first, you are supposed to get a job description. We are going to do that. Either we're going to use LinkedIn or if you've been following me for a while, you know the next website I'm going to mention, 24-7 VA. Open a new Google document or make a copy of an existing resume you already have. I will scrap that. I wanted you to do this. I will just tell you to go and watch my resume videos. But I'm creating this video from scratch, like a blank canvas. So stay with me, okay? All right, so the next thing is use a resume builder. Don't do this either. <laughs> Contact information, step five. Step six, summary, work experience, education. I'm just doing this for beginners. I don't want people to be like, oh, when did you, how did you do that? I'm a beginner, you shouldn't skip that. I am taking it step by step, okay? It's going to take a lot of time, but I don't have a choice. So let's get started. Let's create a new Google document. Click on blank document. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is your contact information, which is going to include your name. Nope, first off, let me change my fonts because I don't want stress. <laughs> so I love using Garamon, Garamon, or Helvetica. Is it called Helvetica? Why is it not here? Okay, so if the font you're looking for is not here, you come to more fonts and type the name of the font Helvetica. So here we are. What's going on? All right, you click the font and there we have it. All right, so you want to type in your name. No, I'm not using my name for this. I'm using Grace Bead. That's my sister's name. Yes, my sister's name is Grace as well. Okay. All right, next is your email address. This is not her email address though. <laughs> Make sure your email address is official. If by now you don't have an official email address, please go to Google and create one. It's totally free. Next up is your phone number. This is my country code. If you're not in Nigeria, don't use it. Three, two, da, 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 da. That might be more, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so the next thing that should come next is your LinkedIn profile. We're going to come back to this, all right? So let's just move. Next item is supposed to be your location. All right. So here, this is how you can twist this. You can either use your location, the city and the state, or you can just say working remotely. I love using working remotely for my clients if they're applying for a remote job. Okay. So another thing I love to do here, this is basically my style. Yeah. As I said, I'm going to teach you everything I know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is to come here and write. Normally I use a... Oh, 
I don't want to leave the screen that is recording, so I'm just going to use a dash here. So here, what I love to do is to write the title of the job I am applying for or my professional title. For instance, say my professional title is I am a virtual assistant. I can write virtual assistant here or if the job I'm applying for is for, let's say, executive virtual assistant, I can say here executive virtual assistant. This is important, especially if your resume is going through the ATS. So as long as the header is concerned, we are 95% done. I'm saying 95% done because we're going to come back to this. All right. Now I'm going to show you the format I love most. You can either use the centered. If you're using the centered, this is what it will look like. You bring this here and here we go. Here we go. Centered. I call it centered, please. Don't go and look for it online. <laughs> okay, so you highlight and then you bring this to center, to the middle. <laughs> but I uh, I use this anyways, but my favorite is this one. Let me show you my favorite. I move this. You can equally keep this by your left as well. It works. It still works. So what I do is I just bring this to my right. I love using this format. So the next thing I love to do with my head as well is to make this change it to uppercase and yep okay make it bold nope make my name bold only my name and then i always increase this to 20 for my clients or you can reduce it to 15 if you want but i love 20 let's just leave it that way so the next section of your resume is your summary all right so we'll have our header here and we will say summary Okay, so for me, summary is the last thing I like to write for my clients. I love to, if I am revamping your resume, I love to go through your experience, get to understand your career trajectory before I write my summary. All right, so we're going to leave that for now and come to work experience. Now, this is where 95% of you will have problems <laughs> because if you don't have any experience tangible experience as a virtual assistant what are you going to write here let's say you worked as a teacher yes that experience should not be here except you're applying to be a tutor okay so since you don't have any experience this is what you can do in your week six you've been given a task and a template to send to your network all right for work experience that is what you're going to use here so let's assume you've done that already and you acted as an executive virtual assistant for one of your connections. We are going to be using, let's say, two experiences here for the sake of this tutorial. We're not going to do more than that. This is how you can present your work experience. Okay. From that task you were given today. <laughs> All right. So let's say executive. The first thing you want to do here is your role, executive virtual assistant. Okay. So the next thing you want to do now, let's say the person is... <laughs> CEO of Netflix. <laughs> so you're going to come here and say Netflix. <laughs> Netflix. And you say dash in bracket. CEO. <laughs> we wish. <laughs> All right. So the next thing you want to do is the location. You tap, tap, tap. is tap. Oh, I'm pressing the tap key. I'm saying it now. Before somebody will come and comment, how did you shift it to your right? <laughs> and then you say remote here if it skips just bring your cursor here the back of the remote and click your back key your space your what what is this key called is it is it not space bar i'll be <laughs> click, click your back key <laughs> all right okay so the next thing you want to key in here is your date now you've gained this experience as long as you've gained this experience you know what you're doing you can choose to backdate this Remember, this is our recent experience. So what we're going to do now is to write, let's use August. <laughs> let's use August 2024 to present. What was that? To present. Okay. No, I, don't, I want to use this first. Let me, sorry. I'm supposed to use this first. The date is supposed to come first. There's no rule. It's not like it's a rule of thumb. 
it's just what I love to do okay I love bringing my date first before the location I don't know why I choose to use this format though <laughs> I don't like it. it's always very stressful okay so we're done with our role the name of the company our date and location next up is the job responsibility so here don't write any pistol as an executive virtual assistant what did we do for the ceo of netflix <laughs> by now i am trusting that you've gone through your lesson materials don't skip your lesson materials okay okay so bullet point let's do this are you playing with me okay so bullet points what are we doing for the CEO of Netflix let's say provide high high level high level executive executive supports including email management oh, let's say inbox Inbox management, calendar management, and preparing presentations. Next, because you know I love metrics, metrics has to come in here. And this is the second bullet point is going to be an achievement. Let's say enhanced, enhanced executive productivity by improving inbox management processes this is where the metric comes in reducing inbox cluster by 30 percent okay so for our third bullet point i want to teach you something okay so if you feel like your brain is not in the mood to start thinking about the things you're doing for the CEO of Netflix okay or you don't know how to quantify your achievement let me teach you how you can do that with the use of AI okay so we're going to be using chat GPT I feel like Gemini has treated you people so badly last week <laughs> so to get the job description we're going to be working with we're going to use 24 7 VE let's head to 24 7 VA now and click on careers. Let's just head to the career section at once You can explore this website later. Okay. Okay. Virtual assistant jobs Here we have administration virtual assistant Okay, and here we have Application developer bilingual Bilingual, bilingual, content writer, virtual assistant. Oh, looks good. Digital marketing, human resources. <laughs> okay, move on, fun, focus. Oh, lead generation. I love this one. Should we do this one? Nope. I just heard somebody telling me nope. <laughs> okay, uh, all right. Let's go for the obvious choice. Wow. I'm doing this for you and not me. So let's go for the administration virtual assistant. So this is what we're going to be working with. All right. The administrative assistant will be responsible for tasks such as data entry, web research, email management, and customer support. Okay. Administrative assistant and executive administrative assistant. All right. So with this, we're going to change our header. Yes. We're going to change this from executive virtual assistant to administrative virtual assistant okay stay with me administrative virtual assistant oops i did not name my file I'll always save your resume with your name graysbeat underscore cv mm -hmm. cv or resume <laughs> okay so let's use chat gpt for this tutorial so how do you do that just come to 24 7 va come to the job description the job role and highlight highlight the job description with the job qualifications okay copy and come to chat gpt and you see this i am applying for the role of an administrative virtual assistant 
okay this below is the job description generate for because I love having options I don't want to say to <laughs> generate for job duties for me make sure to quantify quantify my achievements speaking of prompts I actually compiled prompts for job seekers link is in the description you can click on it and download okay and we paste the job description we copied from 24 7 va and then we enter i let it do it magic it's not me i'm leaning on okay 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 so here we have it this is something else you can do you can tell it to remove the subheads because we're lazy <laughs> remove the subheads all right, another thing you can do is to ask it to write the job duties in fewer words. That's what I will do if I'm writing my resume with ChatGPT. Okay, because this is just too much. Okay, so here we are, the subheads are gone. All right, so let's copy this to our resume and we paste. We're not done, we're going to work on it, okay? I've always said, <laughs> don't just go to ChatGPT, give prompt and copy and paste and do nothing about it okay you can always you can always rephrase this so i'm thinking <laughs> how do we rephrase this successfully handle successfully handling handle and organize over 1000 data entries yes that's what i'm going to do so here i'm going to say data and then here i'm going to say handle instead of handling because it's my present role handle and organize and then we delete it handle and organize over 1000 data entries per month across uh when do we start working okay august <laughs> per month across multiple projects to ensure data reliability good we love our third bullet point so here is covering inbox management and calendar management which is part of the job description the second one is about did i just spell this as inox <laughs> okay we have data entry covered the next one was supposed to be customer service correct please sorry <laughs> hey, i think i saw customer service here yes customer support so we're going to be doing this now oh web research is important as well okay web research is important as well so we're going to remove this one I'm going to remove the second bullet point because we need it to be just three. Conduct web research and data mining projects, gathering targeted information and compiling data to support decision making process. Forget about the metrics here. It's too long. Okay. You know what? We're going to use customer support representative as our next work experience. Customer support representative. Speaking of scarcity when it comes to work experience, remember the enrollment for the VA simulation program is still live and the discount will end on the 31st of this month. So use the link in the description and sign up for that program. Once I have the number of people I want, the number of people I can take on, I will deactivate the program from seller. So if you want to pay directly to me to avoid the transaction fee from seller, <laughs> you can reach out to me on WhatsApp, okay? And I will send you my account details. Okay, this program is going to be very intensive. My heart, I've put my heart, soul and body in planning this program for you. Don't sleep on it. Let's move on. All right, so customer support representative. Did I write representation? <laughs> representative, okay. So we're going to bring down this last one. And here, let's copy this. We're going to copy this. <laughs> I'm showing you shortcuts everywhere. Everywhere shortcuts. Oh, no. Okay. So <laughs> who are we going to use here? Mm. Who are we going to use here? Okay. The Fon Akman. That's the company name. <laughs> All right, so here is supposed to be delivered. Okay, since it's past tense, we're going to also change our dates. 
to January. We started as a start date January 2022 to July to July 2024. Yes. Okay. So we're going to head back to ChatGPT now. This is what I'm going to tell ChatGPT to do for our next work experience. Do the same for a customer support representative role. Ding, 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 ding. And there we have it. And there we have it. And there we have it. Okay. So let's copy this and head back to our Google Doc. And we paste. I feel like ChatGPT did not incorporate things from the job description. So I'm going to say incorporate keywords from the job description above. So I'm going to copy, I'm going to cut this, and then I'm going to edit this. Okay, so here we have do the same thing for a customer support representative role. Incorporate keywords from the job description above. All right. Yes, because you want to tailor your resume to suit the job you're applying for. Okay. Okay, and you want to also incorporate keywords in your resume for the ATS. All right, so here, let's copy this back to our Google Doc. I'm going to delete this once. Okay, so delivered high quality customer support by effectively managing an average. Yup, we love it. So we're going to remove this one. Ensured a positive customer experience through clear communication and excellent phone ethics. I believe this is part of the job description, so we are going to leave it there. We're just going to delete this one, okay? You can just play around this. <laughs> What's important is I've shown you how to do it. I love to do this as well. Let me put my line here. My line here. Please don't ask me where I got this line. No, you can draw it. Just come to insert horizontal line okay <laughs> but this one i just copied it from one of my clients resume <laughs> alex might tell you the next section is the education i didn't really go through yeah your learning material but your next section should be your skills take this one from me i'll represent you in court <laughs> because let's say your education is not related to what you're applying for let's say you studied biochemistry I don't know where I got that from, but I'm, I'm sorry if you studied biochemistry. It just came out of nowhere. <laughs> okay. You want to bring that down and not project it. Next section of your resume should be your skills, followed by your certification and your education. Okay. So you can just match them. You can just match both together. You can just say education slash certification. All right. Maybe it's rain. <laughs> Okay, so the next section is your skills. How do you get your skills for this particular job that you're applying for? We're going to go back to chat GPT. We're going to say list key skills from the administrative role, administrative and customer support role. Remember to add key skills from the job descriptions as well. <laughs> I'm just getting this prompt right now from my head to write, so forgive me. So here is how you can present your skills on your resume. You can either follow this pattern of data entry and data management. That's the, that's the skill. And then you write a sentence about the skill, high accuracy in data entry and groups. This, why, why is chat? What's, what's this one? And you write a sentence, but not this particular sentence ChatGPT is giving you. Okay. Just write how you've used that skill in your job role. Or you can just list your skills. If you want to list the skills and ChatGPT gave you this, all you need to do is to say, just add the just. <laughs> just list the. Yeah. Okay. And here we have it. Why are you separating them? <laughs> okay. We're just going to copy all of them. Okay. But we're not using all of them. And then we come here, we paste. Now we're going to choose the ones we have to throw away. So here you want to list your education, let's say University of Lagos. What did you study? Mm, economics. <laughs> Let me leave our chemistry alone. University of Lagos, Lagos, Sabi. University of Lagos, Lagos. Okay, want to see B economics should be BSc. 
economics were done there i know at <laughs> i wanted to speak pigeon i did not add my year of graduation you, did you see that here no so i don't want to see it on your resume do you understand <laughs> all right the next section is your certification okay the next thing you want to add here since we did not you can either create separate sections for them like your education and your certifications i choose this option because let's just assume you don't have a long list of certifications okay so you have just alx so it's alx you're going to use here here you just say alx africa alx africa <laughs> you just say alx africa and then you see what what do they usually call this thing self is it virtual assistance virtual assistance training oh well, i don't know <laughs> okay and here this is where you bring in your year if you want if you like you can choose not to okay we are not done all right the next thing we want to do is our summary now how do you write your summary let me give you a simple trick highlight your work experience and probably the skills so this is what you're going to tell chat gpt write a brief resume professional summary for the role of an administrative virtual assistant below is my work experience and then you copy your work experience oh work experience and skills oh hmm. and then it's going to give you this what you want to avoid is to copy and then you come here and you dump please don't do this don't do it okay there are things you need to change here like this 25 percent should disappear from here okay so this is what we're going to do i'm going to tweak this <laughs> this is what i do so yeah Mm. I'm going to tweak this. So I'm going to use bullet point. Administrative virtual assistant with, let's say, with two plus years of experience providing executive level support and managing high volume customer inquiries. Remember, we're working with the job description, okay? Okay. And then we're going to enter. We're just going to use three bullet points. You can you can leave it flat though you can leave it the way it is like this okay it's not this is not a rule of thumb if so here we're going to say skilled 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 ineffective inbox manage inbox and calendar management accurate data entry and comprehensive web research and data mining remember these are keywords these are major keywords from the job description okay these are major keywords from the job description inbox calendar management data entry web research data mining so we want to bring that there okay so the next thing we're going to do is to bring this down recognize it's a big delete this <laughs> you see why i always tell you to go through it okay strong communication and time management skills with a commitment to maintaining data accuracy and enhancing customer satisfaction across multiple platform multiple platforms okay i think this is a keyword as well from the job description and boom we're done okay as i said earlier you can just leave this the way it is like this so before we give our resume our final look there is this one last thing i want to show you that i often do that i love so much <laughs> i love doing on my resume and the resumes of my clients is to come here I'll bring in the keywords from the job description. These are the major keywords from the job description. We have data entry, web research, email management, and customer service. So let me just copy the four customer support. Let me copy these, head back to the resume. Then we're going to bring it here. The font has changed. Don't change my font. I think it changed the color. Okay, so we'll come here and we can change this to uppercase if we want or maintain the flow of the resume and leave it title case make it bold and if we're using this i often remove the word summary then you bring it down make it centered boom <laughs> yay, yay. all right we're not done no. <laughs> so instead of comma i'll use this my favorite tool or icon what can i call it 
<laughs> uh, okay, so definitely if this resume is going through an ATS, it will pass. There's nothing you can tell me. You go pass for sure. Okay, so we have this lockdown and then we want to change make this bold. Want to make this bold as well. Okay, this splits over to two page. I can make this a page out, but I don't know. If I show you now, if people will not start commenting, how did you do it? How did you do it? The one I did for week five, I just brought my cursor here. You know, I'm using a software to record. So I, I'm not sure if you can see where my cursor is right now. My cursor is by the left side of this page. Okay. And then I'm like, okay, reduce the font size of the meeting agenda. But you can't do that. You can't do that with your resume. You can't say, okay, let's highlight this and change it to 10. Remember you are sending it. What was this? Some, nobody can see this. <laughs> this is too tiny. Okay. So you can't do that. I want to show you another way you can make this a pager, but it's going to distort the margin, the margin here. And it's like a major thing in your milestone. Yeah. I think I saw, yes. Set margins. See, so I cannot make you confuse the margin. If you want to know how to do it, just come to my house. Let me teach you. <laughs> okay. So as long as resume is concerned for your week, six milestone we are 95 percent done okay because we're still going to come back to your linkedin profile so as long as resume is concerned for your milestone we are 95 percent done here but because we love to pay attention to details we're just going to come back here job description we did that we used 24 7 va we opened our new document we use helvetica is it here is it part of the fonts Yes, it is. Look at it. Yay. We use Helvetica and oh, the said it should be set your font to at least 12. Let's do that. What was that 12? Set it to 12. There's going to be too big. Oh, 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 this is hurting my chest. Jesus. But since it's tutorial, let me just leave it for you people. Okay. I can never do this on my resume. And then we want to change our Heather, our name rather to 20 make it bold okay so let's go back to savannah a summary oh look at this you know i didn't even look at this provide two to three bullet points you see one point work experience education skills they didn't even put certification but we did <laughs> okay your skills section error we good and see we're done with our resume the next thing we want to do now is your cover later okay so this is the cover later instruction okay identify a position you want to apply we have that checked already we have the job description checked already open a new document we have that choose a professional okay imagine going through your lesson material i notice a template this is the template they provided but we are not going to be using it so <laughs> I'm not going to be using this, so I am writing to you today to apply for the open position. Wow. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Cool. <laughs> but we're not going to be using this, so control. <laughs> Bye. All right. So let's rename this to change to Grace Bead. What? <laughs> underscore okay so what we want to do here is to come to our resume and copy our header back to the cover letter template add it here and we are going to shift this to left so the next thing here is the date the day is 28 28 October 2024 a hiring manager what font is that please do let's be guided hiring manager 24 how do they write that stuff 27 24 7 virtual assistant 24 7 virtual assistant okay so this is something i love to do in my cover letters i love doing this you can ignore it child you don't have to 
again is not a rule of thumb <laughs> all right application for the administrative virtual assistant possession <laughs> and then next we have a dear hiring manager so we're applying to 24 7 VA and chances are that 80% of the jobs you're going to apply for you probably won't know the name of the person hiring but if you do bring in the name of the person here dear Mfon Akban okay but if you don't dear hiring manager is just fine okay so what do we write in the body of our cover letter we're going back to chat GPT and then we're going to say write I'm just going to give it a prompt and say write a cover later as well <laughs> Yay. oh look at that uh I'm excited to, <laughs> this is just basic we're just going to copy this to the cover later as I said this entry is just too basic for me and I want to know how you can tweak this to move yourself from the from the bandwagon of millions of people who use <laughs> who uses ChatGPT to write their cover letter watch my cover letter video the link will be in the description watch that video and learn how you can do this because this is not just about this tutorial alone you will need to be revamping you will need to be updating your cover letter to suit the job you're applying for i'm just here to show you how you can use it to write your cover letter okay okay so here we have i am excited to apply for okay, including my current role as <laughs> an executive register for the ceo of netflix <laughs> okay here we have all right the study should show evidence i think i saw that somewhere i think i saw it somewhere i saw it somewhere explain your interests state your position explain your interests state why you're good for provide evidence yes okay yeah <laughs> yes my brain is working all right provide evidence previously so we're going to leave this uh metrics we're going to leave this metrics what else was there in the instruction yeah you know i'm doing this for you for your milestone so i have to work with it conclude provide evidence conclude all right okay so i'm just going to delete this one jerry <laughs> i'm just going to delete that one paragraph okay so i'm going to make this a paragraph yep and then thank you for considering my application i look forward to the opportunity to discuss all my skills okay and uh i'm fun oh no no no, no grace <laughs> grace bead bring your cursor here but to your left and it will change to an arrow then you drag up okay and then you bring your cursor to the end of your name and click on delete it will delete the last page <laughs> all right okay so what i want to do now is to highlight and justify okay we are good we're done with our cover letter all right so the next thing we want to do now is linkedin i do not have a linkedin i'm going to work with so i'm going to create the linkedin profile from scratch but hold on <laughs> if you're yet to subscribe to the channel kindly click the subscribe button and make sure to turn on your notification bell so you stay updated for any time i post content on the channel give this video a thumbs up like this video okay don't forget the link to register for the va simulation program is in the description and in the pinned comment don't sleep on this okay i'm so looking forward to doing the six weeks with you i'm going to speed up the process of sign up okay Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. I can hear you. I'm fine. How are you? Okay, so we have our new LinkedIn profile created. Yeah, look at ALX. Let's follow ALX. <laughs> All right, let's optimize. Now, this is nothing is happening here. The first thing we want to do is our LinkedIn banner. To design that, we'll head to Canva. 
and we'll come to the search bar and we'll type LinkedIn banner just design something simple okay so that this video will not these are just basic designs that we can use going to change instead of our name here we're going to bring in the key things we do so this is the template we're using i copied this from my resume <laughs> yeah you can choose to bring in your email address your official email address okay the one you're using for your virtual assistant business or not you can choose not to okay you just leave here blank and make this bolder if you will if you must if you want to okay so here this is where i'm going to bring in the name i love using dots at the end this is like my logo the info then the dot <laughs> okay so i done here you just click on share click on download we're downloading it in png then you click on the small camera icon click on edit background I see some of you with no LinkedIn banner. You are play no. Please, to design this thing is totally free. You just saw me design this one now. Now we have our cover banner set. Next thing we want to add is our profile photo. So I don't have my sister's picture. I'm just going to use mine here. Make sure you're using a professional photo. Okay. So before we move down to the headline, we are going to be changing the URL. Okay, so what you need to do is to, you saw where I clicked, <laughs> just come here to this pencil here and click on it, okay? I need to bring you here. You want to change this, remove all these numbers and all whatnot from your URL and make it professional. Just your name, your first and last name. Okay, so we've done that. You might not see the change here except you refresh your page. So I want to show you how you can use AI to do this, okay? to write your headline and your about section. So let's go back to chat GPT now and give it some prompts. Hey, <laughs> yep. Let's send it. Remember chat GPT has information on my resume already. So let's see what it comes up with. Executive virtual assistant, inbox calendar and data management, supporting entrepreneurs and content creators. Uh, the first one, uh, streamline operations for entrepreneurs and content creators, administrative, virtual assistant, helping entrepreneurs and content creators with email research. Mm. So I'm going to say executive virtual assistant, inbox, calendar, social media management, okay, helping entrepreneurs and content creators. Mm. While writing your headline, keep four things in mind. I usually keep four things in mind while writing my client headline. Who, do, what, how. Who, do, what, how. Okay. So once you think about that, at least even if you'll not be able to cover all of them, cover two or three. Okay. Your headline should cover that. Who, do, what, how. All right. Let's move in. Okay. So here, instead of bringing in your portfolio link, what you want to do, what you can do is go to Calendly, all right, or Google Calendar and create a schedule and create a schedule. And here you want to bring in that link where clients can reach out to you for a free discovery call. Okay. So the next thing we want to do now after our header, before the about section is our experience section yay so to do that we're not going to be filling it manually okay <laughs> let me show you a trick let me show you how you can do that go to your resume and download your resume ah i'm giving people updates <laughs> and download your resume and then come back to linkedin come here where you have add profile section you can basically do this self before you start the whole optimization all right and click on get started the next thing is not going to show in the screen so yeah <laughs> Okay, you want to click notify network, please untick this. Now you want to click add to profile. Now we're just going to edit it. You click on this little pencil here. Okay, so here you can add more skills if you want by just clicking this plus button, type in the skills you want to add. All right, okay, so that's it for your skills section. What we want to do now is the summary. Okay, so let's head back to chat GPT and see what it generated for us. Okay, here we have, let's just copy this, okay. 
here you want to tweak it though make it yours okay don't just copy and dump like this now and click on save if you're yet to like this video kindly give this video a thumbs up <laughs> and subscribe to the channel if you're yet to subscribe okay so here we have our top skills hey i'm grace i am a tech savvy virtual assistant i specialize in supporting entrepreneurs and content creators with essential administrative tasks allowing them to focus on their core business goals and creativity okay so here we've highlighted the services we provide here is how i can help you all right and here we have our top skills project management customer support social media data entry calendar planning okay so let's move to your certification so on linkedin you should create a separate section for your certification this is happening this is matched because of what we did with our resume you know we matched them together in, in one in one section so to separate it all you need to do is just to click on this small pencil right here why do we have okay 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 this is from the resume just delete this one we have duplicate education take that off and we'll delete this as well so to create a separate section for our certification come here and click on add profile comment it and then here you have add licenses and certifications you click on that add name we want to see virtual virtual assistance training <laughs> don't know <laughs> okay and ALS will pop up click on it for October also another thing you can do here is to add your skills I was supposed to do that before clicking save if you scroll down you see it you can add your skills here you can upload your certification here all right I just wanted to show you that so the next thing I want to show you now is something a lot of people don't take advantage of which is the featured section so to add that to your profile all you need to do is to come back here to add profile section Click on recommended again. You see add featured. You click on it. You come to this plus button here. You can add a post. You can add an article, a link to whatever your portfolio, your website. You can add your, you can upload presentations, documents. You can add anything you want to add here. Your pictures if you want, but don't add your pictures. <laughs> okay, so here what we want to add is a link, a link to our one on one discovery call. All right, that's what we're adding here. By the way, you can book a one-on-one -on -one clarity call with me. <laughs> Just use the link in the description, okay? So here we have the title, Clarity Call by Mfon Akban. You can add a description if you want. Change the thumbnail, but this is what I have here. <laughs> All right, click on save. And here we have our featured section. Let's just click back so you see how, what it looks like. Yep, up, up, up. Here you can add as many featured posts you want to add. You can add up to three, four, six. I like to keep mine minimum of three. Okay, so that's it for the featured section. Another thing I want to show you that I don't see people take advantage of is the service section. <laughs> so you come back here to add profile section, come to core, and then you see add services. So here you can add as many services you want to add content marketing click to add i think you can add up yeah you can add up to nine more services 10 services you need to do is just to come here career coaching i would add this <laughs> resume review i would add this because this is something i do all right so once you're done just click on done and come back here write your description choose the locations you can also impute your hourly rate here or you just click on contact for price here you want to allow linkedin members you are not connected to to message you for free okay so once you're done with that just click on publish our service page is published let me show you what it looks like this is what it looks like make sure to add description okay you can add media if you want and once you've done a job for a client you can invite them here to drop a review okay i'm recording this particular section for the second time because i just had to I noticed that the OBS froze the one I recorded yesterday I'm editing now and it's frozen it's just my voice that I was hearing and what I was doing on the screen was frozen it was just busy skipping from one place to another uh, I had to record this again because I really wanted to show you the featured section and the 
and how to add your services because they are important all right we are done let's go through our profile one more time so here we have our cover banner here we have our headline executive virtual assistant inbox calendar and social media management helping entrepreneurs and content creators supercharge their business and 10x productivity and here we have our link for one-on-one -on -one discovery call okay make sure to add your location this is a profile i'm not going to use so <laughs> all right our about section is set our service section is here a featured section make sure to create content okay <laughs> education sensing and certification skills add more skills okay to your profile so that's a friend if you found value in this video kindly give it a thumbs up share with your friends and families and all the community you belong to and groups of course and make sure to click the link in the description to sign up for the VA simulation program. The link is in the description and in the pinned comment. Take advantage of the 10% discount that is going to expire by the 31st of this month. Thank you so much for watching. I made a video while I was editing the frozen, <laughs> the frozen clips. <laughs> Watch it and bye. <laughs> it's in the LinkedIn section. I noticed that... <laughs> The OBS was recording, but what I was doing on the screen was frozen while it was recording my voice. I am struggling, okay? But I don't know, I don't know. I've tried to edit it, even with the frozen images, to sing with my voice and what I was doing. Do I have videos on the channel on LinkedIn writing? This one was just different because I created it specifically for this purpose. So I hope it was helpful, sincerely. I hope you were still able to do something out of it. I'm so sorry. I had to do this video now.